In this video, I'm going to tackle a delicate topic, one surrounding advanced multiple sclerosis. Specifically, what is the increased risks of death in the setting of advanced MS? If you're willing to listen, I would like to share with you, and that's coming up right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between clinic visits. And it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. As an MS neurologist, I care for people from the time of diagnosis, through the course of their lives, until the point of death. And whereas with treated multiple sclerosis in 2018, we do not expect a shorter life expectancy, I do think that sometimes we have to have a challenging and delicate conversation surrounding advanced multiple sclerosis. And so in this video, I want to tackle one of those challenging conversations, the, the risks that people with advanced MS have of dying. Again, it is not my intention to be morbid or to be disparaging. On the contrary, it's my goal to educate you for things that we want to look for so that we can fight against this as best to our ability. And so again, there are four things that I think that we have to be on the lookout for, for increased risk of death in the setting of advanced MS. Number one, the leading cause of death in MS is cardiovascular death. Now, this is true across most populations, but I want to call it out here because there's a lot of modifiable risk factors. And in the setting of someone impacted by MS, I don't want them to forget that they can impact their mortality by working on these cardiovascular risk factors. So these are things like paying attention to diabetes, high cholesterol, hypertension, morbid obesity, etc. Number two, aspiration pneumonia. Unfortunately in MS, and in particular in advanced MS, we can develop difficulties with swallowing. And sometimes we can put food down the wrong tube, and instead of in the back tube, it goes in the front and it clogs up our airway. And sometimes this is very notable and it's very, very scary, but sometimes it's more subtle. Sometimes the person's not fully aware that they're aspirating. If you are someone impacted by MS, or if you're eating with someone impacted by MS, and you notice that while eating or drinking, there's some sputtering, gasping, coughing, these are concerning signs, and you want to bring this to the attention of the MS provider right away. We want to explore and better understand swallowing. And oftentimes we can benefit from consulting speech pathologists who can do modified barium swallow tests, even in the clinic sometimes. When we do find swallowing problems, there's a host of things that can be done. So it's worthwhile to explore that, to minimize the risk of putting food down the wrong tube, developing an aspiration pneumonia. Number three is urosepsis. This is a situation where a bad urinary tract infection can seed the blood. People with MS are at risk of developing urinary tract infections and having dysfunction of the bladder. And unfortunately, this can happen with increased frequency in the setting of advanced MS. Simply put, make sure that you're on top of your bladder. Make sure that you're not having recurrent urinary tract infections. And if you are, make sure you're talking to your provider. Likewise, if you have difficulty controlling your bladder, whether that be accidents or difficulty emptying, again, Let's make sure that we're talking to the MS provider so we can minimize the risk of urinary tract infections and urosepsis. Number four are bed sores or decubitus ulcers. People who have difficulty in moving around are at increased risk of developing bed sores or pressure ulcers. We can develop them on what we call dependent areas. In other words, areas where gravity is impacting, like on the tush, like on the heels, the, uh, the back of the feet, sometimes on the shoulder blades. And so for people that have mobility difficulties, and this can happen in the setting of advanced MS, we have to constantly be aware of this and combat against it. For people sitting in wheelchairs, we want to ensure proper seating. There's actually special seat mapping that special physical therapists can do. We want to make sure that the cushion is appropriate and that our legs and our shoulders aren't rubbing against the sides of the wheelchair. We need to have visualization. I'm being serious. We need someone to look at the dependent areas, the tush, the heels, the shoulder blades once a day. 
And when we're sitting or laying down, if we're not able to move on our own, we need to be moved about every two hours, either on one side or on the other, or shifted a little bit to minimize our chances of developing bed sores. And there you have it. A summary of a sensitive topic, but an important one. A topic in the setting of advanced MS in ways that people with MS are at increased risk of death. There are four factors that we want to keep in mind. Cardiovascular risk factors, aspiration pneumonia, urosepsis, and decubitus ulcers. I know this is a sensitive topic, but it's one that I felt was important, and I'd love to get your feedback. So please leave your comments and your questions down in the section below. Thank you for tuning in and learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. And if you'd like to see more content from me, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until my next video, take care.